Second and 16 now. Mill under center, trips to the far side. Miller's going to be the deep back. Mill, Mills drops out, and it looks like it's intercepted by Marple Newtown. Christiana. Great job by Carmen Christiana. Looks like maybe Carmen or uh, Lucas Moss might have got a hand on it. Or just bounce off the receiver hand. Maybe Greg uh, has a better vantage down there. What did you see down there, Greg? Absolutely. The ball was tipped um, in the vicinity of the, uh, the, re- the intended receiver. He's the one who got a hand on it. And Carmen Christiana able to just get under it and cradle it uh, and, and keep it from hitting the ground. Great interception by Carmen Christiana, the sophomore, as Marple Newtown takes over with 9.51 to go in the second quarter. Marple Newtown comes back out. Marcus Weathers under center. Christiana to the near side. Sadness in the backfield sends Christiana in motion. It's a pitch to Carmen Christiana. It's a play. Is he going to throw it down the field? A half incomplete. So there's some trickery by C- Coach Chris Gicking. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you got a re- another quarterback there playing receiver. Why not pitch it back to him? Good play design. Just uh, didn't have enough air under it as it uh, set out incomplete intended for Abel Hoff. First time we've seen that all season, huh, Greg? Yeah, he, he threw that one into the direction of where the wind's coming from. Hoff tried to get back to it. I think it kind of just kind of hit in that headwind and just couldn't get it there. But it was a, a well-thrown football. Very nice throw by Carmen Christiana for his first one uh, of the season. Weathers under center. I formation. Goes back to normal. It's going to be a run by Sadness. He's breaking free, going off defenders. He's going to break it into Chichester territory. He's going to be down at the 36-yard line. Huge game by Sadness. An excellent game there as he goes up the middle and... You know, he bursts his speed. When you see him just hit that hole, you know he's going to gain some yards there. He does a good job picking up good chunks for a first down. Satinus continues to get near that record as Weathers is under center. Satinus eye formation, deep back. Here goes Satinus, penetration, chopping his feet, taking up a good two or three yards from Marple Newtown. You know, it looks like he is brought down. Tough to say, number eight, Dan Sullivan. As Satinus keeps on running those legs, as you said, Dave, getting close to the record. Right around 30-some yards, so until he breaks it, we'll give you the exact yards when we come back from maybe a commercial break. Well, he's, he's playing like there's no tomorrow. That yes. is for certain. As Marple Newtown comes back out, this player tying their shoe on the field, so there's a stoppage right now. Marple Newtown looks like they're in another running formation with Satness, who continues to march down his way with two touchdowns already in this game. Weathers under center, I formation. Penalties on the field. A lot of laundry on that one. See what the see what the head ref. Is. Foul. Right. Offense. Five yard penalty. So second down. The false start moves back Marple Newtown. To the 38-yard line. Okay, I'm sorry, 38, that's fine. Marple Newtown not hurting themselves with penalties now. Yeah, and uh, something you don't want to see for Coach Gicking. You said trying to finish on a strong note tonight with a win. I-formation, handoff goes to Satness. Bounces it to the outside, spinning off defenders, able to get back the penalty yardage. You said get back the penalty yardage there. As number 20 for the Eagles comes in and makes the stop, Foreman, tough tackle to bring down Satinus. But uh, going to bring up a third down here. Four down territory, I would think, Dave. Four down territory, so it's going to affect the play calls. We saw what Chichester did earlier. It looks like Marple Newtown's going to come out in I formation again. Two wide receivers. Hoff to the near side. Weathers with the snap. It's going to be play action. He's going deep to Hoff. He's throw, his under comes back to it. There's going to be pass interference possibly on Chai Chester at the five-yard line. An excellent call there. As a play action, fake, and Weathers lets it sail. And uh, Chai Chester, two defenders knock over Hoff before he's able to catch it. Is that going to be the call, Greg? Yeah, that's what it's going to be. you got both Chai Chester guys running into Abel Hoff that time. <laughs> So Marple Newtown will pick up the first down with pass interference. Great play call. Satness has been able to get 
Decent yardage running. Sets up the play action. Marble Newtown marches down that field as we're now in the red zone with 7.40 remaining in this second quarter. Ball will be spotted on the 18-yard line of Chichester. Yep. Weathers under center. I formation. Marple Newtown. Weathers the Hoff. Passes down the sidelines. Hall breaking tackles. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Marple Newtown. What an excellent job by Abel Hoff. Pulling that reception. Make a few moves and just squeezes his way across the end zone for another Tiger touchdown. Greg, you had a great point of view seeing tackles taken right there. Well, I'll tell you what. His his one foot, he tiptoed that sideline. The ability to do that and make guys miss and still find your way into the end zone over a six-yard you know six yard area, it was unbelievable by Abel Hoff to stay Bounds. Picking the extra point is George Lambricios for Marple Newtown after the Hoff reception for a touchdown. Weathers holding. The snap, clean. The kick is up. The kick is good. That will make it 21 nothing. Marple Newtown, 731 remaining in the second quarter. You're listening to Marple Newtown Football on the Tigers Radio Network.